Alright, bro. What kind of cut you want to do? Uh, it's been a while. How much you think about the song? Um, here, I'll show you an inch and I mean we can go from there. So like that right there. You want to do the foot? Oh, you want to go shorter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like that right there? Yeah. Okay. You want to take the beer halfway of what it is? Yeah. Okay. We still keep it pretty dark? Yeah. And I just want to do the fade on the side? Yeah. Get you looking right. <laughs> What is good fam? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to start off this haircut by shampooing our client and what this is going to do is get rid of all the dirt and debris that may be built up on the hair and give us a nice clean canvas to work with and now to get right into the fade we're going to come in with our lever closed and we're going to establish our initial bald line um, in the back first and what this is going to do is make it a lot easier to make sure that this guideline is symmetrical and comes down perfectly in the back right so i started in the back now i'm going to go to the side um right where the eyebrow kind of ends and slope it around the ear and drop it towards the back and this is going to give us that nice drop effect that complements this haircut this is different from my other videos to where i just come straight in with the trimmer what coming in clothes does it's going to make it a lot easier to get rid of that first line so now we're going to get right into the fade so we're going to come in with the lever open now right above that closed and we're going to go up about a full inch here and we're going to continue to maintain that shape that drops towards the back and now we know that since we made that first line with the clipper closed and the second one with the clipper open to get rid of that line we're going to come in halfway but we're going to save that for the end and get into the next step which is the one guard with the lever all the way open and again, we're going up about a full inch and trying to keep that same shape that drops in the back. And you'll notice with this fading system that I'm showing you guys today, I'm going to establish all my guidelines first and then blend downwards. And now right above that two guard open, I mean that one guard open, we're going to come in with the two guard open. And we are creating a line with this two guard, but we're not trying to make it too harsh, right? So I'm coming up and I'm trying to come off the shape of his head and try to blend into the length along um, the back and the parietal ridge as best as I can. So I'm not trying to create this line too harshly. And now right under that two guard open, I'm going to come in with my one and a half guard here with that lever all the way open. And I'm going to attack that line, right? So I'm going to start off open and if I, if I see that it's not really getting rid of the line too much or there's some stuff I need to go back in detail. I'm going to close that lever just as I just did. And that should pretty much get rid of that line. So I'm coming in open. It wasn't doing the job, so I went ahead and closed it. And you can already see how that line is starting to disappear. And now right under that line to get rid of the, the line in between the one open and that lever open we're going to come in with our half guard with the lever all the way open and we're just going to attack that line and again like i said with the one and a half if the open isn't doing the job we'll go ahead and close that lever just as i did right now and we're going to try to attack that line and blend it out as best as we can and when trying to get rid of a line, I always start off open and then gradually close it because you can always um, take off take off hair, but you can't put it back on, right? Now to get rid of that last line, like I said at the beginning, we're going to come in halfway since we know that we started with the lever closed and the second line was open. So to get rid of that line, we're going to come in halfway. And if half, halfway isn't doing the job, we'll go ahead and close that lever until we get this line blended out. So as you can see, I'm just working with the lever closed to open, trying to detail and get into those dark areas that I wasn't able to get um, out when I initially went through my system. So you'll see me using a lot of the corner of the blade to get into those, uh, you know, dark spots and kind of lighten them up a little. 
and as we continue to do that man this button is starting to come together and i'm pointing out the corner of the blade right here and what using the corner of the blade does is does is it's allowing me to go into that one and a half area in detail even though i didn't use the open there right so that's why i believe using the corner of the blade is so important it really helps you to fine tune that blend as you can see and now i'm going back to that one guard detailing a little more looking for those dark spots and now to blend into that length on top i'm gonna do some clipper over comb so i'm showing you right here i'm coming in with that comb and i'm flaring out slightly and now i'm gonna come in with the lever all the way open on my clipper and any hair sticking out of the comb i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of and that's gonna go ahead and blend into the top and now it's gonna be a little choppy so i will follow it up with thinning shears but this is gonna help blend into the top a little better as opposed to using you know really big guards And it's coming together very smoothly, very nicely. And now we're going to follow that up with our thinning shears. And this is going to soften it up, make it look a lot more fluid, a lot cleaner. And as you can see, man, this blend is coming out super clean. And now we're going to dive right into the other side and follow that same exact system. So we're going to come in with the lever all the way open. Again, a full inch. And if you don't know what a full inch is, just put the width of your thumb um, right above that guideline. And I would make, you know, the width of the guideline, the width of your thumb. And now right above that lever open, we're going to come in with our one guard open. Staying real clean, making sure, you know, our guidelines. Um, are distinct and we can tell exactly where they are at and now right above that one guard open we're going to do our two guard open and this is going to be the biggest guard that we use so we're coming off the shape of his head here and just from my guidelines you can already tell um, the shape of this blend is going to come out super clean just by how clean I'm making these guidelines, right? So you want to stay organized. And now to get rid of that, that line right here, I'm going to come in with my one and a half open. And like I said, on the other side, if open isn't doing the job, we're going to go ahead and close that lever just like I did. And it'll slowly but surely start to come together. Now after we complete that, I'm gonna come in with my half guard here with the lever all the way open once again. And doing the same thing, right? Staying consistent, staying patient, trusting that process that we have set in place. And it's slowly but surely starting to come together. So we're just detailing the back, paying real attention to the back because that tends to be the area where a lot of people have dark spots. So I'm trying to be cautious and careful back there. And now to get rid of that last line, I'm going to come in closed on my clipper or halfway on my clipper. And then I'll close it as needed. And especially in the back, you'll see me start to use a lot of the corner of the blade to go ahead and detail. And that drop effect is really starting to take a place right here. So you'll see right there, I'm playing with the lever, trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. And now we're going to do some clipper over comb, just like we did on the other side, because we do want to leave weight along his part line. We don't want to shave all the way up into it. So I'm coming in with the comb and then, you know, any hair sticking out of the comb, I'm going to get rid of with my clipper. And this should pretty much bring everything together. Now I'm following it up with my thinning shears here. 
and now for the last step since we did shave save the trimmers for the end um if we're careful here the trimmer should blend right into that clipper close that we established that bald line with and this makes everything so much easier saving this part for the end and then we're gonna follow this up with the shaver right after so as we get up to that clipper closed, I'm going to use the corner of the blade to try to blend into it, you know, a little better and not try to create a line for myself. And now we're going to follow it up with the shaver. I'm stretching the skin because I don't want to, you know, create too much tension or irritation on the client's skin and this is just gonna get it a little closer really make that blend pop and add you know a couple days to that haircut and now we're going to blend into the client's beard and really all it is is just a reverse blend of what we did on the head and but except it's a little easier right so i'm coming in closed and then moving to open and as you can see we're almost blending to the beard already and now i'm gonna grab my one guard and that should pretty much blend into the length that he has on his beard and now i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the trim so i want to go ahead and dampen the client's hair don't be scared you know to make it super damp and, and usually when I do scissors, I create three sections, but today I'm going to do the most common, common method used by barbers. Um, so I'm going to pull up the front and then move towards the back. And we're taking, up, taking off about, I would say, a half an inch here. And we're going to follow this middle guideline all the way to the back. And now we're going to comb it all forward and we're going to move towards his right side. And when you do that, you should be able to see the difference in length. If you don't, do not cut, right? If you're not able to uh, find that guideline that you created, don't cut it because then you're going to create unevenness. Now we're going to move towards his left side and do the same exact thing. Now we're going to comb it into his style, trying to find this part once again. And I'm trying to soften it up right here. And now we're going to trim his fringe area, try to make it as even as possible. So I'm pulling those forward and just trying to make that front area a little more even. And now we're going to go ahead and dry the client's hair, get it ready to style. So I'm not trying to give it that super finished look. I'm really just trying to get it dry. And now we're going to come in with some slick Gorilla Clay pomade. And style his hair, right? Put it in there. Make it look a little more polished. A little cleaner. Before we get into the lineup. Because I don't want any hairs that aren't supposed to be cut to get cut. So I want to style it before I get into his lineup. And then pull it down those hairs that we're going to line up. So we're going to start in the middle. And we're going to move towards the client's left side. And with this, those are a lot of bangs. And um, we're gonna line up his bang area because it's gonna give the illusion that his hairline is a lot fuller than what it is. And now we're gonna move towards his vertical bar. And now for the arch, we're gonna start at the top of the arch and then we'll go to the bottom and connect those two points in the middle. And that's gonna give us that nice round shape that we want without being too cosmetic and pushing it in. And now we're going to go to the right side doing the same exact thing. And as you can see on this side, he doesn't have as much hair. But with this lineup, it's going to make it look a lot fuller, a lot denser. And we're doing that same thing. And this is really bringing everything together, making it look a lot more finished. And I believe we do use some enhancement right here. So I'm using my airbrush with some Kiss Express mi mixed with alcohol. And I'm trying to spray it on as lightly as I can. 
and i believe i kind of make it too dark in this video which i try to brush it and it lightens it up just a little bit but i still think it looks clean and now for the beard we're gonna lower that to the number four guard and that's because this client still wants his beard to look a little fuller as you've seen in the consultation but he still um you know wants to trim it so we're gonna use that four guard i believe that's the perfect length And now we're going to get into the lining of the beard. So we're going to start at the bottom of the beard. And he likes to keep the lining of the bottom of his beard pretty low. Um, which I believe best suits this client. Especially considering that the top of his beard isn't um, that full. It makes him look like he has a lot more facial hair. So I'm going to clean up the bottom of his neck. Being very careful because this tends to be a super sensitive area. And now for the beard lining, I'm going to use my razor. So I'm starting at the bottom of his beard. And now I'm going to go to the top and connect those two points in the middle. <clears throat> and if you guys have been paying attention, that's very similar to how I do my arches. I start at one end, then go to the other end and connect those two points in the middle. And that's how I get the nicest shape while keeping it, you know, as natural as I possibly can. And now we're going to clean up his hairline just a little bit, make it look a lot sharper. But fam, this is the finished product, a nice mid-drop fade with a styled top. We cleaned up the beard. If this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I will catch y'all.